Okay, to make paramecium filtering screens, what we do is to take a length of PVC pipe, just cut it to size, four or five inches or so is usually ample, depending on the size of the screen that you're making. These particular screens are made out of 150 mil stormwater pipe, uh, but you can quite easily make them out of 90 mil stormwater, um, anything that you like really, as long as um, there's a reasonable amount of slack in the fitting when you put them together initially. You need that amount of slack because what you want to do is to take your filter material and wedge it in between. So what you do is you cut a square of um, filter material. In this case I'm actually using one that I've already used. But you cut a square of material, place it over your coupling, put your piece of pipe onto it and then push it in. Push it in like that. What you will end up with is a lot of excess material hanging out the edge. Just get a scalpel blade or a Stanley knife, just run it around and trim that material off. But what you end up with is quite a, a firm, um, firmly strung sieve that you can easily change and clean. Uh, you can replace the material. You don't have to use any glues or anything like that. And the chances of leaking are far, far lower. All right, so standard plumbing fittings, readily available. Now we use two different screens. The first one is about a 65 micron, and we use that to filter out the dirt and debris out of our culture catch that into a large beaker so the way that we do it is to sit the screen up like that pour the paramecium culture with all the debris lettuce all that sort of stuff into this screen catch the fluid in the beaker and then use the second screen which is around 24 micron to filter out the paramecium. The 24 micron screen allows for uh, washing the collected paramecium culture with RO water. That washes bacteria through the screen and just leaves you with the paramecium that you're trying to capture. Now again, same deal making this one, simply a matter of take a piece of cloth, place it over the coupling and then take the length of pipe and press it in. Should give you a nice firm sieve that you can take apart, clean, reassemble. Um, again trim off any excess and with the 24 micron screen make sure that you actually wet it before you use it because you will find that if you just try and uh, drop water or drop a paramecium culture straight on it, it won't filter as well as if it's already been saturated. So give it a, a spray with some pressure, pressurized RO or something like that to wet the material first uh, and once that's done you should find that it filters fairly easy. So there you go, that's how to make a couple of um, paramecium filtering screens. The other thing with uh, the larger screen, it also works quite well for um, sieving out Artemia, whether live or still in its cyst. Um, so if you're decapsulating Artemia, then it's a good way to um, use that as a, a rinse catcher, that sort of stuff when you're rinsing off. Um, any questions, you can contact me at bruce.newall at deacon.edu.au Alright.